Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in the series of transformer testing, we are conducting low voltage test. In, the, uh, in this video, we are going to learn a new test that is transformer HV magnetizing balance test. So we are seeing various kinds of low voltage testing. We have already covered voltage ratio test in our previous video. You can get the link of this video in the description box below. Uh, then there is another low voltage test that is TTR that is turns ratio test. We will uh, soon see a video on this. And in the current video, we are going to learn about HV magnetizing balance test. There is another test HV magnetizing current test. We will also learn about all this different low voltage testing in our upcoming videos. So we have already seen how to prepare transformer low voltage testing kit. And you know all the material required for this kit as we have seen in that video on how to prepare the low voltage test. This is how the kit was prepared and how all the things were arranged to make this kit. We have also discussed about that. So now let us see uh, how the arrangements are required for transformer HV magnetizing balance test. So uh, we'll provide supply as we do for all the test okay and we will remove all the fuse right mcbs will be kept off we will do connections to the transformer okay so we are doing performing this HV magnetizing balance test for 66 by 11 kv 15 mva transformer that is delta star con connected so we will provide hv terminal links and lv terminal links Okay, R, Y, B and neutral for LV side. This is how, what all we have to see for this uh, HV magnetizing balance test. That is when voltages are applied for R, Y, Y, B and B, R phases. And we have to measure on voltage on HV side and LV side. Right, uh, I will soon explain how this table is working. Okay, so this is the table that we use for taking the readings of HV magnetizing balance test. So how to start is you have to follow this table. It's very simple test to perform. See when the voltage is applied for R and Y phase, that means, okay, and this is HV magnetizing. So voltage will be applied for HV side. So R and Y, let us apply voltage on R and Y. Means we have to provide fuse for R and Y phase. We will have to turn on the MCBs for R and Y phase. Okay. Now we will measure whenever R and Y phase is given. What we have to measure? We have to measure voltage applied on the HV side for R, Y, Y, B, P, R. And on the LV side for R neutral, Y neutral and B neutral. So let us quickly take this measurements. Using the multimeter, we will measure the voltage for R and Y. That is 433, so noted down as 433. Next, measure for Y and B phase, that is 360, so we will note it down as 360 volts. For B and R phase, you can see it is 72 volts, so we will note it down as 72 volts. Now we will measure on the LV side. R neutral that is 43.6 volts Y neutral 36.5 volts and B neutral that is 7.2 volts now one thing to observe over here is whenever you give full voltage for R and Y phase you can see that for R and Y phase you are getting complete voltage that is 433 volts between YB and BR the voltage is getting divided. What is happening over here is there are three cores for the transformer for R phase, Y phase and B phase. Whenever you are giving a complete supply for R and Y phase this core gets complete voltage so it gets completely magnetized and 
you you can get the complete voltage over here what happens for other two cores is due to induction due to induction and magnetic induction the voltages are induced and those induced voltage will be obviously less so for if the core is over here and the voltage is getting over here the induction due to induction on the second core what will happen the voltage will be lesser and the farther the other core okay more distance from the first core so voltage induced will be lesser similarly you can see that for rn that is complete voltage is produced for yn little less and for bn is very less okay so the test says magnetizing balance so the complete balance you can see over here now let us check for y and b phase also so we will turn off the mcbs we will remove the uh, fuse and provide the fuse for y and b phase y and b phase and we will turn on the mcbs for y and b phase and we will take the readings for ry for ry the reading is 2 to 7 similarly 436 and for r voltage is 208 now we will measure on the lv side r neutral 22.9 Y neutral 43.8 and B 21.2 volts right similarly the same procedure we have to conduct is for BR okay so what we will do we will turn off MCB we will remove the fuse and we will connect it on B and R phase we will turn the MCBs for B phase and R phase and we will measure RY, YB, PR, RY, YB and BR, okay. And for LV side, it will be RN, YN and BN. See, what observations do we see over here is, whenever full voltages are given for RY, YB and BR, you can see you are getting full voltages around 433, 436 and 431. Similarly on the LV side 43, 43 and 43 volts. Another thing that you have to observe is how the balance is maintained is see for whenever RY is given. So RY is full, full voltage that is 433 and the total voltage is distributed between YB and BR. So if you do the summation of these two, you will get the summation is equal to this one, full voltage. Right? Similarly, on the LV side also, you can observe this. So if you want to check that the results of your test are correct or not, then this is one of the ways you can check. So for whichever phase you are providing the voltage, you have to check that you are getting full voltage and other two, for other two phases, it is distributed in this way. Now, if you see for YB, for YB it is 436, right? And it is distributed equally for RY and BR. Why it is so? Because the core of YB will be in the center and it is from equal distance from the other two cores. So, magnetic induction on both this core will be almost similar. So, voltage is divided almost equally for other two phases. And similarly, you will see the core which is near to BR will be having higher voltage farther the distance the voltage will be reduced because induction will be less right so that is how the magnetizing balance test is done this is done on tap number five okay so let us check on what all taps you have to carry this test so this is the test result that is conducted for a transformer and this is taken on tap number 1, tap number 5, tap number 17. Besides this step, you can also conduct this test on the routine tap on which the transformer remains 
uh, through the routine operations in the switch yard say if it is on step number 6 step number 4 whatever the based on the voltage levels the tap is remaining so you can conduct this test on that also and in the case of fault whenever there is fault in the transformer due to that uh, the transformer has stripped due to some reason then you have to conduct this test on all the taps from tap number 1 to 17 performing this test on tap number 1 to 17 if there is any issue if the if there is any problem inside the transformer uh, if there is no magnetic balance is obtained then you can easily understand if there is an issue so friends this is all about hv magnetizing test on the transformer so we will continue with other test in the next video so keep watching if you have any comments do let us know in the comments below. Thank you.